morning. I slept so bad because it was raining gnarly and I went to bed so late, couldn't sleep at all. Full moon. I don't know if you guys have that, but every time there's full moon, I can't sleep for some reason. I don't know. Um, it's been raining. Flash warning. Flash food flood. Flash flood warning. Jesus. And you guys, you can see my eyes. So tired. So I'm debating if I should get a coffee or some OJ because I got some nice oranges at the farm. Which would be great for some morning juice. Maybe I do both. Because this morning I actually don't have to get super early, which is great. Usually I have to rush out the door super early, but this morning I don't. Um, and also, kind of bummed because I had to sell my car. Um, but I got a new car, which is great. So hard to find cars on my own. It's so, 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 so hard. You pay a fortune for literally four wheels that barely make it. <laughs> so it was really hard to find a car, but funny I got one. And um, I'm glad. I'm glad I sold mine. Um, I love my car. It's just so expensive to keep because if you have a European car, no one knows how to fix it on the island. And those three people who do know, of course, they charge a lot of money. So an oil change for a BM, it's a Mini, a BMW a Mini, it's like 300 bucks an oil change. If you have a Toyota or like any like local car, like 80 bucks. I'm like, what? So I kind of have to keep my cost a little bit down or try to at least. And um, so that's why I got rid of my car. But it, it served me so well. So I'm really grateful. Um, I had it for a year. Oh my God, I get my day going. Um, I have to sell the car, do some work. Um, I'm a computer. I have to go to school. It's raining. I got a bike because parking is expensive too. So I got a bike. I'm actually seeing a friend for breakfast first, which is actually not a bad day today. Seeing my friend for breakfast. Going to school. I have two shit classes. I hate. It's fine. I got to sell my car. I got to clean it. Make it all nice for the new buyer because I got to fill it up because I believe if you sell something, you should sell in the best condition possibly. You should give it away as best as you can because I feel it's like good karma for you if you make sure that everything you sell or what you get rid of you do it in a good condition because I feel it's nice if you get a new, something new and the person took care of it and filled it up and made it nice and you know you get a new car and you have a good feeling with it and yesterday when I test drive the car I'm buying it was super filthy <laughs> and I was like you know it probably would have been even easier to decide to buy the car if it would have been at least like cleaned a little bit I don't know maybe he's gonna clean today who knows always happy for surprises but yeah, that's kind of the plan for today. Um, not too busy. I'll take you along, and I thought, because a lot of the time, and I'm myself too, you know, we show this like beautiful place from Hawaii, and like we, it seems like we're hiking all day, but of course we're not. You know, we're not hiking all day. That's why I thought, you know, I wanted to show a little bit more realistic day. Um, of course, every day is different for me too, and today seems not too stressful of a day. However, and the thing is also on those super stressful days, I can't film. Like, I have no patience to film if I if I have a super stressful day. So today is, I think, a good day to film and to show you a little bit more realistic day. Probably not every day. Not everybody has the same day, of course. My days vary a lot. Uh, but just to give you a little more of an insight of the actual life here. I mean, I just can't talk for myself because, you know, I don't know how everybody else is living here. But I thought it would be interesting for you. So I'm going to take you along. Now I'm going to make some coffee or some OJ. Both. <laughs> oh. So I started making my bed every morning and it's been great. It feels good to come home to make bed. Alrighty, let's go. Hello, is the bed done? You ready? Ready for a good day? Um, it's a little traffic on the stairs. Oof. For some reason, I have so much laundry, literally almost every day. My pile of laundry, I gotta take care of. Um, I gotta go out here. Hi, Lila. You checking out? So, this is kind of gross. Every morning, stepping into that. <laughs> um, but it's beautiful. It's raining. The waterfalls, but it's beautiful. <laughs> She made her little ocean bed right here. Um, she has all her toys, but 
I bought this super soft blanket yesterday. I mean, it's definitely a crazy yellow, but she's been loving it. Right? You like the blanket? Oh my god. Good morning, my love. So I usually have a bunch of dishes, but luckily I did it last night because I couldn't sleep, so I did all my dishes last night. Most of it. Ah, there actually are some. So, got to do the dishes. A lot of people ask me, oh, it's so easy to clean tiny ones because it's so small, but... Mm -mm. You have to be super tidy in order to, like, keep the little space that you actually have. Why? with all these roaches, you can't leave stuff. Like, I shouldn't even have left my orange press. So probably would think like, oh, these are not nice looking. And yeah, man, these are ugly oranges. Oh, this one is definitely molded. Not, and I ain't and eating that one. You should never eat mold because even though it's maybe just on the outside, it might have spread. So I hope it didn't spread to the other ones. But these are really good oranges. Not sweet. However, they are very juicy. So they're perfect for juicing. This is how an orange actually looks like if it's organic from a farm. Person, this is the one I bought at Whole Foods. It's a clementine. I mean, but still the same color orange and clementine. Look, look at the difference. It's kind of scary, yeah? I mean, not that those are bad. These are organic too. But, um, just grown the way they are. Great. And these are, this is my papaya. Also, not orange. Greenish. But the best papaya I had. By the way, I'm not drinking. <laughs> Uh, one thing here in Hawaii, fruits are so expensive, so expensive. And I bought another. Day, I bought the other day. I bought papaya, and it was so. It was like I think seven bucks. Can you imagine? You buy fruit for that kind of expensive, seven bucks for papaya, and you live on an island. This thing, mm, so good. So, that's what I mean. Look at how juicy these are. So I just checked my emails and I got an email from my school. Polly is closed, which means the um, highway here is closed. That's gonna be interesting. Um, let me check the traffic. So I just checked the traffic and it takes me two hours <laughs> instead of 40. Uh, okay, let me figure it out. So the good thing is I have school late today. Um, so I just talked to my friend, told her I have to come later because it's right now very, very, very hard to get to town, so I'm gonna see her a little bit later, but that's fine. And yeah, the good thing is I have school later, so I'm not too fagged. I'm sorry for everybody who's stuck on traffic, but that's Hawaii, because the problem once one, po like the poly is literally like, we have like three highways. So if one of them is closed, all the other routes or routes are so, like, it's already traffic every morning anyway. So another street is like a scenic view, so it's like kind of like a, um, on the ocean side, um, kind of a drive. So I use that drive a lot, but the problem is it's one road. So if something happens, there is no like going around, oh, taking a side street, cutting it off, like how you do it back home. You know, it's like one road, you stuck, you can't go anywhere. So that's kind of how it is here in Hawaii. And I heard because of the rain, it's still been raining. Um, there has been some mud, um, mud slides on the side, so they had to close it. Yeah, I'm glad this morning I'm not affected. Um, the orange juice is really good. Don't think I have time every morning to make an orange juice. However, this morning I did, and it's good, and the orange juice will be going bad, so. Well, now I gotta do some work, and i see you later. So I just finished all my work. Um, just put the dehumidifier on right here. Um, super humid here. So cold, I have to wear my winter jacket. So cold, rainy, and I gotta bite, so. <laughs> I actually just had that on the airplane when I came back from Germany. I never thought I'd actually use it, but here we are. So it is raining like crazy. Um, I don't know what to do, but I got a bike. <laughs> um, last day in my car, I'm gonna miss it. It's so cute, but um, as I said earlier, I have to get rid of it. I can't afford um, to keep this car. It's too expensive on the island. And yeah, so if you have to get a car on the island, choose wisely. I got, actually this car was a really good deal because it's stick shift. So most people on the island don't know how to drive stick shift. I think it's an American thing, it, people don't drive stick shift. So I actually got a good deal on it because it was stick shift and I knew how to drive it. So that was good, however it's still expensive to keep so I have to get rid of it unfortunately, but yeah.
I'm on my way to school now. So rainy. So my friend was really nice. She drove because I didn't have to take the bike. Or she would get by my friend now. She's an amazing artist. <sighs> And I saw you also did black and white pieces, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be doing more of those. It's gonna be Charles and black and white sunsets. So I'm here with my friend Sarah. And <laughs> she is an amazing artist. I'm sure you saw her stuff already. So I just wanted to say hi. And she's showing me all her beautiful artwork. And yeah, <laughs> that's all. So I just got out of school. Really stressful day. Now I gotta drive back and the poly's still closed, means I have to take the route that goes all around the island. Ugh. So stressful today, but it's fine. So I'm trying to get stuff done. And yeah, that's how I poly's closed, so it's gonna take me probably like an hour to get home, but it's fine. Um I gotta rush, clean the car, make it all nice for the person who bought it. So I can give it to him nicely. So beautiful. Have you been to the Big Island a lot? Or? Uh, a few times. Oh, nice. It's, it's a nice place. Right.